Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a all the products I can't live without and all the products I can live without. So I'm basically gonna go through my whole routine, how I would go like brows, you know, eyes, face, lips, etc etc i'm going to give a product that i cannot live without and then i'm going to list a product that i can live without so i know it's gonna seem that some of the products is high-end that i can't live without and the ones that i don't like is drugstore which i'm going to try very not much to do i'm also going to include drugstore in what i love as well so bear with me if there's a couple products listed for each category so if you would like to see my can't live without and can live without then please keep watching I can't live without if you follow me on Instagram is the Anastasia dip brow and I use the dip brow in chocolate I also can't live without the brow wiz, but I couldn't seem to relocate it Which is funny because I have two and I couldn't find either of them So they must be in my purse or makeup bag and I'm being lazy to go and look for it because it is nighttime And I just want to you know get on to editing this video so I can go to bed So the I can live without is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Pencil I mean I have the benefit what is it called Gimme Brow or something like that or I don't know and it has a similar type of like head But it's just like I don't know the shade is just off I don't know if I got the wrong shade but I don't really like how that slant is anyways I mean with the benefit one the color actually looks nice on the brows, whereas this one does not. So this one, I can live without. I mean, I would still use it, yes. Would I buy it again? No, I wouldn't. So goodbye. So I have many favorite eyeshadow palettes, so I'm gonna try and keep it real, real low here. But can't live without my Too Faced Chocolate Gold. So gorgeous. It doesn't have very many mattes for your transitions. But it has so many gorgeous colors and shimmers and it's just beautiful. I love this palette. Also, can't live without my soft glam. Like, I use this frequently as well. It's just a bunch of neutrals and kind of like your everyday type of stuff. I also really love the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. So these are the two that I can't live without because they're colors and I can't just show you neutral palettes that I can't live without. But beautiful love these palettes a palette that i can live without and i'm so annoyed that i even purchased this because it was like 75 dollars it's the fenty beauty galaxy palette so i mean it's pretty and the packaging is like very luxurious but it's an all shimmers palette and like i hardly reach for this so next is eyeliners an eyeliner that i keep repurchasing is the Too faced sketch marker this is my old one i don't know where my new one is that where you can actually read the writing on but it's just got a tip like that and I love, love, love it. Another one that's a drugstore dupe that I actually love and I'm using it today. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Noir. So my struggle is with drugstore eyeliners is they're very, like, not black. And this is a product that I can't live without is a product that is exactly the same. Felt tipped from Physicians Formula. And it's an eye booster with a lash boosting eyeliner serum. I never use this. I used it once or twice. And it's just so thick thin and it's not very black i have so many eyeliners in this drawer that i could just keep showing you guys and they're all just awful like they're not black but this drugstore is a good drugstore dupe for any eyeliner pen that you're looking for because it is black and that's what i like in an eyeliner which i'm sure that's what you like in an eyeliner okay next is mascara so i cannot live without my l'oreal voluminous carbon black this is actually one of my favorites and it kind of reminds me of the Too faced better than set and another one is the benefit roller lash i bought the small sampler size because i just wanted to try the small version and i actually really love this i would buy the full size and the mascara i could do without would be the l'oreal lash paradise i used this one about like twice and i just decided i did not like it i don't know what it was i don't know like the brush is it's nice and fluffy but i feel like just maybe the product and like look it's like all bunch and gross there like i don't know definitely wouldn't rebuy this or recommend this next up we have eyelashes so the lashes i cannot live without and if you follow me on instagram i'm pretty sure you know what my favorites are they are very pricey but totally worth it is the lily lashes i have a couple of her styles and they're all gorgeous but definitely carmel and miami are my two favorites and the lashes i could do without and wouldn't repurchase is the ardell demi wispies 
I actually really like the Ardell lashes, but for some reason I just didn't like these Demi Wispies. I, I normally like a natural lash on my more natural days, but for some reason I felt like with my false nails and trying to take it out of the package was kind of ruining it, and I felt like I could only really actually get one or two wears out of them, which is kind of pointless for me. I like to get my money's worth, you know? So as you can see, I've only used one pair and I don't know, I wouldn't repurchase these. All right, now it's time for concealers. And if you think I'm just dissing drugstore makeup, think again because you're gonna see. You're gonna just, just bear with. So my ultimate favorite concealers, and I'm the concealer queen. I have very dark circles under my eyes and this is an absolute necessity for me. I actually like the Benefit Erase Paste, but now it's the Benefit Boing. I also have that as well. And this is just like a color corrector concealer. So I usually use that under my eyes, but if I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, I actually don't need to use that Benefit stuff, but that's an ultimate something I can't live without as well as my Tarte Shape Tape. I bought it online and I kind of bought a color that was way too light for me. So if you see me using this in videos, I'll normally mix it with another concealer so that's a product I can't live without and I'll definitely be ordering my actual color next time and my other favorite is the instant age rewind by Maybelline I always repurchase and I always have my not so favorite and I know I use this quite a bit in a lot of my Instagram videos but I don't think I would repurchase this is the bare minerals bare skin don't get me wrong I like this concealer on natural days however I feel like this concealer is not full coverage enough for me it might work well for people that are looking for light coverage for their under eyes which on my natural days uh, when I like to spot conceal I will use this but I personally wouldn't buy this again but I mean overall it is a good concealer another concealer that I would do without but I have used in videos is the Tarte Maracuja concealer now I used to like it because it was very full coverage but it says it's a creaseless concealer and I feel like I was always creasing under my under eyes. After an hour, it was creasing. Even setting it with powder, it was creasing. So I definitely would never repurchase this and I hardly even use this. If I use it in a video, it's just to kind of show you guys the product itself. That's why I'm coming onto YouTube today and actually saying that no, I wouldn't really purchase this or recommend this unless you don't have a lot of creases under your eyes, which I do. And maybe that's why I crease so much because I have friends that use this and they don't crease under their eyes with it So maybe it's for you then but I could do without it. All right setting powder So I've just bought this because Twee she actually hit pan on it a couple of times and keeps rebuying it So I decided to give it a try and I actually really love it. It's the Too Faced Primed Poreless Skin Smoothing Press Powder So I actually just used this in a video that I filmed today and it's on my skin now, but it looks kind of like that and of course, my Laura Mercier powder. Like, if you watch my videos, I'm always using this powder. A powder I can definitely do without is the MAC Prep and Prime. And I've used this in a video recently just to kind of switch up because you guys are probably always seeing me use a Laura Mercier. I gave this another try, but just maybe too white of a powder like I'll show you whereas the Laura Mercier has like more of a like a yellowish tone whereas this is so white and it just doesn't work for me okay next is contours and bronzers the NARS contour Paloma I got this it's in called Paloma. It's a powdered contour kit and I've actually, this is my second one, so I've actually hit pan on the other one and I rebought it because I love it so much. I really, really love the Tardius Pro Glow palette. What it has is like a cream contour in there and then it also has a powder, which I use a lot. And the only thing is I would repurchase this, but I hardly use the highlights in here and there's four. And I even have a drugstore one that's actually really good, powdered contour, and it actually has a blush and a highlight. I really like the blush and contour. The highlight is whatever, but for the price point, I actually really like this contour palette as well. And I guess the palette I could do without is the Kiss Ombre Radiance palette. I've only used this in one video, guys, okay? Like, I'm just, I don't really care for it. You know, it's got the contour, it's got a blush and highlight. I just, I don't know, just... 
cream contours, I really think that I would repurchase the Anastasia foundation stick as a contour stick, as well as the Benefit Hula stick. Okay, bronzers now. I actually really love the Too Faced bronzing collections. I love the dark, is it dark chocolate or milk chocolate that I'm, my shade is, but I don't know. I decided to get the chocolate gold this time, and I really love it. You probably see me using this in all my videos, and they just smell so good. I love it so much. And I also really love the Hula Benefit bronzer as well. All right, time for them highlights. You know I'm all about the highlights. I have so many highlights, it's like hard. It's not hard to pick my favorites because I know my favorites, but it was kind of hard to decide who is the I can't live without. So my absolutely favorite liquid highlight, Cover FX sunlight these are so blinding you use the smallest drop and you are like beaming like you are just glowing to the gods for my more natural for my more natural days i like the becca champagne pop liquid and this is beautiful by itself or with a powder on top the anastasia amrezy too bad it's limited edition but luckily you get a lot of product because this is beautiful and i also use the tarte chrome paint shadow pot so this is so beautiful on your eyes i do use these on videos i have a different one but the top yacht is so beautiful for highlight too. I have it on my cheeks. I don't know if you can still see it because I did my makeup way earlier. Drugstore. I should include a drugstore highlight because this master chrome is bomb diggity as well. Now highlight palettes I could do without. The Sugar Glow Kit by Anastasia. So it looks like this. I don't know. It's just it's just whatever. Kind of more chunky. I don't know. It's just not that wow. The Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. Luckily it was cheap because this is just trash. I never use this. That's just garbage, yo. Okay, so I did eyeshadows, bronzers, contours. I did everything I could think of. Lips. I said I was a concealer queen, but actually I really, 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 really love lipsticks. So today I'm using the Huda Beauty liquid mini sets. I actually tried them for the first, no, actually I wore them out the other day. At first they feel a little bit funny as they're drying, but I really like them. Kat Von D Lolita liquid lipstick, absolute fave. Anastasia's liquid lipsticks, all of them are my favorite. Her formula for a liquid lipstick is just bomb. I love them and I would get every single color she has. For a red, the Fenty Beauty Stena lip paint. The applicator kind of turned me off in the beginning, but I actually really like it and it's very easy to put on. I was kind of hitting on it on Snapchat at first because I was like, what is this applicator? I was like, red gonna get all over the place, what the hell? But then I actually really love this, my go-to red. Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, the Too Faced Lip Ejection Extreme. I used to love these until I got lip filler. It actually pumps your lips like insanely. It just like kind of tingles a bit much and if you accidentally get it on your face, your face will turn all red. But I actually actually went and got lip fillers so I don't use this anymore as apparently it could dissolve the lip fillers which a bitch don't want okay I spend money on these lips I don't want it I don't want it but if you don't if you're not into lip fillers that's not really your thing then go for it this product is amazing I actually even really like the kiss New York pro lip glosses I have a couple of their shades from that package that I received from them. The lip products that I could absolutely do without is definitely the Maybelline Superstay inks. They just dry kind of funny and they're kind of like patchy and like when you go to reapply them, it's like layering over and it like gets all chunky and like gross. I mean, pretty colors and I've used these in videos. I mean, I would wear them for pictures but I wouldn't wear these out. So if you're the kind of girl that just wants to take a picture, then go for it. But if you're going out, I wouldn't recommend these. So basically, even what I've learned from this video, if you're going to actually splurge and buy anything high-end, I would recommend buying actually liquid lipsticks because drugstores, they get like chalky and like gross and like as you keep applying it and then it just, it's just gross and it makes you look all chappy. That's really all I have to say. You could find high-end and drugstore good and bad right so just depends on you your skin type your personal preference but i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video of my can't live without and can live with wait i'm getting like tongue twisted my 
can't live without and my can live without. See, it's a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And if you're new to meeting me, hi, how are you? I'm Taryn and I will link my Instagram down below because I always post Instagram mini tutorials with YouTube. I do once a week. I hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are. Mwah. Love you guys.